Hey y'all, I got a request for putting together a bail assembly for um, a Shimano Bait Runner 12,000. I don't have one of those, but I have a 6,000 that I'm working on. The parts just came in, so I decided to break this one down and show you how to put the bail back together. I'm going to start with the line roller. And I like to use grease on these things. Um, we, uh, there's a lot of salt water around here. So if you want to use oil, you certainly can use oil on these parts instead. So instead of just showing you the in just the uh the assembly of it I have to or I want to put this back together at the same time. Okay, let's add some grease inside here. It's a really light amount, you just can't see it, or it's not easy to see. Let's take some back here as well. So this piece is keyed. And when you put it in there, you'll feel the, uh, you'll feel that slot if you just turn this, if you don't get it right the first time. Just keep turning it until where it does while you're pushing this in and it doesn't turn anymore. First thing that goes on is this. Then we put this on. And that goes in between or inside that. Come on. like that. The line roller goes on like that. Then you have the spacer here that goes in. The line roller washer. And then you can just see that prong inside there as well. That groove has to fit or correspond to these two prongs on the end here. So just feel for it. Then just hold it together and screw it in. And you can tighten this all the way down. Do just double check it to make sure it's set. And we'll test this out afterwards, but I'm sure it's gonna work. Alright, so let's start on the uh, the rotor. When it's just a facade or, or a beauty plate, just stick that back on there. Where are we at with this thing? All right, so now to the business end, uh, or before I do that, let's go ahead and add some grease here. And I'm gonna add some grease inside here as well. All right, so for this side, we have to put in our little notch thing here. When that click that you hear when you open the bail up, that's from these two pieces here. I'll add a little bit of grease to that hole. Stick the spring inside. And 
then drop this piece inside. Like that. And while I'm here, I'm going to add some a little bit of grease around here and inside there. As well as this channel right here where the trip arm will sit. And in here where the spring will sit. Let's press that down for a second and grease these parts up. I'm not adding a lot of grease to these things, I'm just putting a light amount on there. I think that's all I'm going to do. Yeah, that's about it. So now we can take this arm here and put that silver washer on from the curved end like that and on the spring there is a smaller side or smaller opening the smaller opening will be where this fits through Now all we have to do is put the this arm in with the long piece facing down, the short end up, and then stick this in like so. Kind of get it under that arm there, and I'm just going to cover it up. If I can find a hole. All right, and the last piece we have here is a little cylindrical piece that goes inside here on the bale. Sorry, I forgot to do this part. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of grease to right here. This is the second or the other part that uh, when you hear that click when you open the bale, it's setting inside this. All right, and now all we have to do is line it up with that hole right there where that cylinder is. And then we're just going to stick it over here. And let's see if we can get that good. There we go. That looks, that looks good. Let me just screw this in. And put the other piece on and screw that in. Still feels a little weak. There was an issue with this bale, uh, so I'm probably going to take it apart again because it wasn't tripping as well as it should. And it's not the wire or the spring, excuse me. 
Anyhow, so that's how you put the build together. Uh, I'm going to check this side again. Just There's some things rubbing on here. Uh, but I hope that helped uh, some of you guys out there. Uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification for any updates uh, that I put out. And be sure to tell your friends about the channel. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.